one more cut for the Virgos and I will start off in the first house position. Your first card out Virgo is the Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is all about making plans. So in the first house this is how you appear to others, this is how you wish to be um, seen by others in your life, this is also about your identity, this is all about you. So I feel that you may be planning um, something in your life or in the month of March in regards to how you wish to appear. Um, this could be physical, more on a physical basis and probably um, on a mental basis as the wands energy is all about motivation, movement. You may be planning also to or initiate some form of change in the way that you look, that you physically look, like I just said before. You may be finding that you are wanting to go down two different paths in the sense of how there's a private side to you and a professional side to you. So you may be wanting to keep the two linked or to, to keep the two separate from each other, which has also just cropped up for Virgos. The next energy coming up for you, for the second house Virgo, you've got the Eight of Cups. So the second house is all about earned income, it's about your possessions, material possessions and also uh, the things that you value in life including people and of course yourself. So it's almost like there is a part of you that is walking away from a situation in regards to a set of values in your life or you could be walking away from a certain kind of income that you've been um, uh, working at. Um, this could also be finally having enough of um, collecting material possessions and now you are trying to balance things out in your life. So you are walking away voluntarily. This isn't, um, uh, you're not being pressured or forced out of situations. So whatever you're leaving behind is going to clear the way for some beginnings in your life in the month of March and beyond. Virgo. The next energy coming out for Virgos is your third house of communications on a local level. This also could have, um, uh, you may be having dealings with siblings, as it does entail siblings within a family environment, and also communications uh, within a neighbourhood even. It could be as intimate as that. So we've got the High Priestess coming in for you in the month of March, Virgo. So there could be something that's hidden. There could be some truths that are hidden. You may be intuiting things within your local community, within um, your own family environment, and it's almost like you're going to be um, uh, seeing things, um, whatever people are putting up, uh, whatever facade people are putting up with you, you're going to see right through them in the month of March. So be aware of others' intentions in your life in the month of March. For other Virgos out there, this could simply be touching base with your intuition in the sense of um, communicating um, support and help for others that are really seeking help uh, from you in the month of March as well. Okay, in the fourth house for Virgo, we've got the energy of... Da, 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 da. the sun energy which can also mean yes and it can also be an energy of optimism and um, uh, just an easy um, flow of life so to speak. So in the fourth house of home and family you may be finding that things are uh, becoming more highlighted even more exposed or things are really um, quite optimistic on the home front. You may be finding that uh, whatever decisions you're needing to make in the home arena, um, you're going to find that they're going to work um, for you in the sense of what you're picking up intuitively. Um, so there is a yes around a certain decision around the home arena for some Virgos out there. For other of you, for other Virgos of you out there, you may be dealing with an authority figure, a father figure. There could be... Um, a reunion or some form of connection with a father figure in your life in the month of February, or should I say March? Apology, Virgo. March. We are in the month of March. Moving on now into the fifth house of creativity, 
pleasure, fun, luck, uh, children, romance. You've got the energy of the Knight of Coins, Virgo. And so this is very similar to your energy in, in the sense of Earth energy. And so you may be noticing that in creative endeavors, dealings with children, dealings with romantic partners, dealing with fun and um, luck situations, that things are moving at a steady pace. Things are flowing as they should. This could also be someone in the arena of a male or female of an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Um, maybe the age of late teens, early to mid twenties, that could be um, making contact with you or um, you may be having dealings with a younger person in the month of March in regards to creating and having fun or um, dealings with a younger person in your life. I don't feel that it's it's too negative, I just feel that things are just cruising or flowing in the month of March for this person as well. Moving on now to the sixth house of health, day-to-day -day routines, whether it's in the workplace or the home arena, and also with small pets, small pets could be included, and again we get the judgment card. This card is just popping out of every reading. So it's in your sixth house. It's also the house that is ruled by Virgo. And so you may be finding that um, an old issue, health issue, could be coming back. But it may be finally, um, finally renewed in a sense of finding a cure for some Virgos out there. Others of you out there, this could be to do with your health and well your well-being um, being quite um, being renewed a renewed sense of health also in saying that when it comes to your day-to-day -day routines and work and home life you may be finding that um, your routines are being um, being being renovated again sort of you know going through a process of um, evaluation review um, it's it's almost like some Virgos out there really wanting to change their routine or change something within a routine to create more of a easy flowing um, life so to speak but something is definitely coming back up again that um, wasn't quite resolved and it's going to be renewed and almost like an, a transformation of some way shape or kind in regards to your health um, anything to do with your day-to-day -day routines or anything to do even with small animals in your life Virgo the next area of life is the seventh house and we have the energy of the queen of cups now this could be male or female as it is a generalized reading so we're looking at a water sign energy of Scorpio Cancer or Pisces and so this person is coming in in the form of a partner or a business connection or a friendship connection even in the month of March. So this person is quite intuitive or knowing. Um, they may not show it on the outside. They may not believe in that kind of um, uh, subject, so to speak. But it's almost like they have an eye for detail is what I'm picking up with with this person. So they could be of great help or assistance to you in the month of March and this is to do with connections and a business partnership some form of partnership in your life this could be a new connection for some Virgos out there or this could be a renewal of a connection from your past for others the next area of life is the eighth house which is the house of transformation in a very intense big way interesting you've got the king of cups settling in this one he is the opposite or the connection to the queen of cups and so this is again as a water sign energy we're talking again scorpio cancer or pisces this could be a father figure to some of you out there. This could be a connection with finances. This could be a connection with some form of spiritual um, spirituality in the sense of um, a religion or a belief um, that this person has um, has had quite um, a lot of experience in and they could be quite the guide or the mentor to you. But when we're dealing with the house of transformation, it's almost like this person 
may be the person that is going through the transformation, or this may be a person that could be in spirit, that be, that could be trying to connect with you in the month of March, Virgo. So this could be a father figure, a grandfather figure. The female in the seventh house could be a mother that is still alive, or a, a living relative that is still alive, that is a connection to this male. That could also be a possibility, Virgo. Or this could simply be two separate people in your life in different scenarios. The next area of life is the ninth house of higher learning, whether it is on a spiritual basis or an educational basis. It's also um, has an energy... The ninth house is also a connection with foreign cultures, foreign lands even. And so you've got the nine of cups here, which is a wish card. And so you may be finding there are a few wishes in the month of March that could be coming in for some Virgos out there in regards to um, a foreign connection or some form of higher learning. Um, it's almost like you're going to get... Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. It's that kind of scenario for some Virgos out there. It is also an energy of contentment and abundance in your life. It could be through um, higher education that you start gaining more abundance in your life. It could be in the form of money. It could be in any form that you believe abundance is more meaningful to you. So there we go, Virgo in the ninth house. It could also be about surrounding a celebration also in the month of March for some Virgos out there. The next energy coming in for you, or the area, is the 10th house of work and career and also life direction. So you've got the Empress card coming in for you, Virgo, and she is very much a, a Virgo type quality in the sense of um, being quite maternal and also the energy of rebirth. So it can be very similar to the judgment card in the sense of rebirthing something, renewing something. So in the 10th house, you may be finding that you are either creating or nurturing something that is going to be quite um, a great source of abundance for you in the near future. Or you may be rebirthing yourself and, transformation, and transforming yourself in a work environment or a life direction. So for some Virgos out there, you could be moving on and finally finding what your passion is. Um, for others of you out there, you may be going on maternity leave. There could be a little bundle of joy entering the world very shortly. And for the rest of you out there, Virgos, this could simply be just more self-nurturing needed in regards to your working life and the direction um, that your life is going, um, either on a personal level. It's almost like you're needing to balance your personal with your professional life for some Virgos out there. The next area of life is the 11th house Virgo of hopes, dreams and wishes, friendships and also large organisations you may happen to work for if you do or not. You've got the seven of coins coming in Virgo and this is all about reaping the rewards but not quite getting the rewards just yet. There is still um, you are still needing to persevere or have more patience. Things haven't quite um, completed in regards to anything of a financial nature. So this could have something to do with a hope, dream or a wish. Or this could have something to do with a friendship even. This could be about a friend in your life. Or you may be finding that when it comes to a large organisation, if you happen to work for one, that um, you're going to be um, quietly saving away for those wonderful um luxuries or indulgent things that you like to do so there could be a pay increase for some Virgos out there not all or there could be some form of promotion but this is all about saving your pennies so you may be just in the month of March saving for something that you've always wanted to do Virgo it could be as simple as that and the last message to come out for Virgos from the 12th house of endings and completions interesting we've got the hanging man coming in for you all and so the hanging man is all about patience and taking a pause and so when it comes to completing anything there may be a delay in um, something being completed or divine timing is needed in regards to anything that you need to complete in the month of March or beyond 
It is also an energy where you may need to just persevere in regards to anything that you're needing to complete in the month. But this is more centered around the immediate future for you all. So I'm going to say that this is divine timing. Things aren't quite right yet for completion. Okay, Virgo, as I was going to put it back on the pile, but really I should have put it back on the spread. I'm going to pick one card now from the Oracle of Vision deck. Visions deck, Michelle. Let's see what the message is for all Virgos in the month of March. This could be a separate message altogether, or this could be involved in the reading for the month of March. Okay, I'm going to pick from the bottom. Oh, interesting card, interesting image. Number 35, and I will read the meaning from the book that it comes with, as it only has the images on the cards. Beautiful images. So number 35, just place the card down Virgo and look for the number in the book. Number 35, I'll hold the card back up for you so you can see the image as I read for you. Solitude, loneliness and isolation. We all need some me time. The family, the job, the groceries, the world, they can all wait. During these few precious moments of escape, they do not exist. I am alone. My only companions are my own thoughts. Interesting, Virgos. So while such moments can refresh and recharge our spirits, be wary that by degree or frequency, solitude does not become uncontrolled isolation. If the distance between us and others is extended too far, it may become difficult to return. So it's sounding like it could be a month of really being aware of gaining personal time and spending time with others and not doing, not being too extreme in those things altogether. So a time for balancing of being with others and also being alone. Interesting message there, Virgo. 